All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin, and I was just about to start harvesting my weekly harvest of castings when I noticed both the top and the bottom of the breadcrumb container that we had been filling with food scraps and that we checked out last week. Now, I wanted to make sure that we didn't penetrate it ourselves, and unfortunately, it's been about 10 days Actually, I think 11 days, a lot of stuff happened this past week. We couldn't get in here, but I was hoping to get in here before the worms totally ate it, but I'm not sure if that happened. So I didn't want to harvest. I wanted to come right in here and see what we had. So let's jump in here right away. Now, when we came in here last, the worms were all over the outside of the container and they hadn't really gotten to the food yet, but check that out. There is no container left, but if you look, oh my gosh, there are a bunch of worms, and it looks like those baby black soldier fly larvae that we saw are in here as well. So this is what is left of the container. This is totally detached. Again, worms, black soldier fly larvae. Here is just a bunch of food stuff and worm balls. I mean, this is just a ton of worms in here. And all the food that is in there, they are just attacking along with some of those black soldier fly larvae. So very interesting. That is crazy. And check out all the castings. I mean, that was kind of like a little castings tunnel in there. Just a lot of worms. So they ate through the entire thing, it looks like. Here's an avocado pit. So what is left is the bottom and the top right here. And actually, it looks like it's starting to rust, so I'll make sure I take this out today. Let me get into here. Bunch of black soldier fly larvae. And I think this closed around a ring, so we can probably open it and pull a metal ring off. So yeah, there we go. Check that out. This is all that is left of that breadcrumb container, and this was about 20 days. Now, I think I have one more, so in the future, we'll be able to do another experiment with it. But wow, it, they just hate right through that. I'm going to go ahead and get these worms off here and set this to the side real quick. All right, so let's get back into the bin. Now, last time we were in here, besides looking at that container, we looked at our last feeding, which was just an absolutely huge feeding. So when we were in here about 11 days ago, we just barely fed them. Just a little bit of potato peels, an onion, some carrots, lettuce stalks, and a tomato top. This is getting soft, but I don't know if I can quite break into it. And man, did I really dirty up that hand. Let me just keep digging around and see how we've done or they've done. Check it out. Just <laughs> great castings. It's too bad I didn't harvest. I could probably stop and harvest, but I'm not going to because I want to get in here and feed them again and really put a lot more bedding in. Because I didn't harvest this time, this bin is getting fuller and fuller, which is great. Here's a piece of wood. I guess, you know what, we'll just keep this in here. So yeah, the bin's getting fuller and fuller, which is what I've been trying to do is get it increased in volume. There's about 6,000 worms in here and they do a pretty good job of eating the food that I put in. Here is a avocado shell, basically just flaky skin left of it. So I think they've pretty much eaten all the food. So we're gonna give them another big feeding and I'm gonna get rid of some of the cardboard that I save up. I save up toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls and I always mean to shred them and I end up uh, just kind of piling them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set them here in the middle. So as kind of like a base. So let me do that here real quick. So in we go with a bunch of toilet paper rolls. And one of the things the executive producer just mentioned is we put a lot of bananas in a couple feedings ago, but we for forgot to puncture them and they didn't get into them. The bananas were real mushy, but I didn't even see a peel left. All the bananas were eaten totally through. So these worms really did a good job of taking care of both the previous feeding that had kind of been left over and the one that we gave them. So in goes one more and here is the food that we're gonna feed them. This is just a, about a week and a half worth of food scraps. We've got some potato peels, looks like some mango, strawberries, a little bit of onion, tomato, some banana peels. I don't think we have a whole banana in here. This is just the peel. 
a little bit more onion. Again, if you're gonna feed onion, I've got 6,000 worms. This isn't much for 6,000 worms. So, you know, feed an onion in moderation. And we've got some zucchini and yellow squash, some apples and a big old sticker. Let me see. Oh, comes off easy, so we'll take it out. And there we go with the rest. So big feeding, looks kind of elevated because of all the paper towel rolls underneath it. But we're gonna go ahead and put on our worm chow, our new worm chow I just made, I'm so excited. So this right here is the brand new worm chow that I just put together with ice cream cone. It has coconut flour, it's got shredded oats or pulverized oats. It's got lentils and I'm sure I've forgotten something else in here, but I'm really excited about making a worm chow with all kinds of different ingredients from my pantry that were expired. And then I also like to use my old coffee and tea grounds as a food source for them. So I always put that right on top as well. And then finally we take our eggshells and we also put them in a little magic bullet blender and blend them up. And that is grit that the worms use to help digest their food. They have gizzards similar to a bird. So I think we'll top it off with some shredded cardboard. Now that food was all frozen and it has a high water content. So it'll melt down into those paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls and get them moist. But what I'm gonna do after we after we uh, finish up here is I'm also gonna put a little bit of water on top. Now, because this is an outdoor worm bin and it's in a grow bag, actually two 20 gallon grow bags, one on top of the other, it drains out freely. So you can put as much water into a bin like this and it drains out and it keeps the perfect moisture in here all the time. So let's go ahead and kind of cover this up and then we will add a little bit more worm chow, a little bit more shredded cardboard, and then I think we'll be able to finish this up. Now this was a pretty big feeding, and we'll probably be in here in another, I don't know, seven to 10 days. I'm not gonna promise earlier like I did last time, but we'll see how they do with that, and we'll see how they do with those shredded cardboard versus the toilet paper rolls. It'd be real interesting to see if because those toilet paper rolls are on the bottom, they get to them pretty quick. So a little extra sprinkling of worm chow for them. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited about the worm chow, so I'm kind of feeding them a lot of it. And then we'll top them off with some more shredded cardboard. In fact, a lot more shredded cardboard. So I hope you all are having a great day. I hope your worm bins are doing well. So happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.